Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and today I'm playing Spider Man on Super Nintendo, which has this fantastic version of, I want to say the 90s Spider Man theme, but maybe this came first because it is, it is so good, and I presume it takes up 90% of the cartridge space. I was hoping it might show the the intro video. There's been a running intro video which has been fantastic. All right. Let's, let's get in. What's the story? You're Spider-Man. A very buff Spider-Man. That is... Spider-Man is normally quite live. This man is a beast of a human. And look at the bulge on that as well. That's tremendous. All right, so we've got... Right, I can hold and... It... It's it... One button does two kinds of punches at random. All right, I have 50 webs now down to that. Little kick and then jump, okay. Alright, I'm ready for this. Is that Master Chief? That that is that is definitely Master Chief. He's just dead. I've killed that man. He's not coming back. It it absolutely is, isn't it? That is unquestionably him. It's even in the colours. Alright, are we Yep, we're done in this direction. Oh, I figured out how to run. There's an actual run button. That's unheard of. Normally they make you double tap. <gasps> Which means I can flip at an angle. As well, that's not useful. Oh. Alright, easy now. Oh. Flip upwards. Okay, you can't kill that. <laughs> it's That's a spider slayer right there. Just run away. I've gained more webbing at least. Alright, got my health back. Get out of there, Spider Man. He's too strong for you. Alright. Easy now. Oh shit, I've learned to crawl. I'm kind of I'm not i I'm not saying I'm stuck, but I'm definitely stuck. Maybe it is taking damage and I'm just not realising. The thing is, there's two buttons for webbing. And they seem to do different things. Alright, let's just let's keep running and seeing. Can I... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, he died. What a shame. Oh, no, he just gets back up. That's the thing about Spider-Man. He's never truly licked. Get down, damn it. Oh! Wait, what? Oh no, that's just the... That's how you get in the stairs. Okay. Hold. How do I get... How do I do that? The, the, the buttons leave something to be desired. I'm so confused. I, I was definitely... Can I start... Oh, well, I can change equipment, I think. I believe this screen is somehow wrong. Uh. Wait, maybe I can actually... Maybe this isn't an attack like I think it is. Maybe it's a, a movement. He'll never see me. I'm invincible like this. He can't track. Oh god, he got me. Alright. Nope, I've died again. Okay, let's... Let's regroup. I'm sure I can figure this out. I'm a smart lad. How do I even, like... How do I get here? Because I was definitely on a different floor. I'm sure I ran up some stairs, and then I just... I kind of got stuck here. Ah, there we go. I figured it out. You have to do a small hop. Thing is, I, I don't think this helps because I'm pretty sure that must be the way to go. Unless I can get through this this vent somehow. Oh, also, the robots followed me. So, I got that going for me. I've never realised this before because I've never really played any uh, Super Nintendo games that have strongly relied on using the left bumper button. But my my finger, 
a little bit of backstory the the flesh on my finger is incorrect and twisted and the the bone sticks out horrifically and the bone sticks out directly where you'd need to need to push the button right well, it's, it's not here is it but it could, it feels like i've got to get through this vent maybe i have to open it which could mean there's a, a console that i can interact with perhaps and if there was it would be up here I have no no real theory on how to use that. The music has definitely gone downhill a bit. I think I'm. It feels like I'm doing damage. <gasps> Finally. Okay, now I can experiment in peace until it respawns. See, there was just pickups on both sides. So it feels like there shouldn't actually be anything there. Maybe now that that's dead, something will have changed down below. It's really hard to get into that because I, I, I still don't know how I really did it. Uh, a little a down and a jump seems to help. I feel like I've got to go through that vent. I, I really want to figure this out. Maybe there's something I can interact with in the background that I haven't been noticing. God, that's so so weirdly difficult to do. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of just mashing the buttons in a random fashion, hoping it would work. Maybe the fact that this is flashing is trying to tell me something. I feel like my webbing won't be something I need to use because I've now run out. But the game may be that harsh. I've I've never been more lost in a game than, than this one. I mean, this is for children. I, I should be able to figure this out by rights. Maybe the game has trashed. I, full disclosure, this is an emulator, so maybe it's damaged goods. Though it shouldn't be. Wait, did I just do something? Oh. I've learned how to roll. Can I just kick this down? Christ. It's, I've not lost my touch. It's just the controls are a little bit unresponsive is all. It's because he can't quite chain... That's that's killing me. Yep. Okay, that kills you. And when you get in there, you can't do anything. It showed me this screen before, and I really liked it. Because if you look at the, the enemy Spider-Man has to face, there's Doc Ock, looking very classic. There's the Green Goblin in his cool purple-green outfit. There's the mutated form of Alistair Smythe. I think that is. That's a little bit of a rare one. And then you appear to have the Xenomorph from Alien, or the Alien from Alien, which I don't recall in Spider-Man canon, but he's been going on a while, maybe this does pop up there. When I first saw it, I thought, is that the Goblin maybe? But the Green Goblin is there. So I'm not actually sure who that is, and I know a lot of Spider-Man. All right, should start as well, yeah. So we haven't really lost anything because we didn't actually manage to do anything, because I'm pathetic. It's actually surprisingly difficult to like just generally control. So to do this attack that, that knocks this down, I have to I have to hit like eight buttons at once. So you have to hold L to run, be running, be, uh, jump and kick. But you got to get the angle right, and I managed to do it the first time last time. A little bit less. A little bit more. Can I just can I just web it? No. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you don't have to break it down. Maybe I have to kill the enemies first. Right. Okay. Maybe I maybe I just have to run at it, and the kick was superfluous. How is this beating me twice? 
I'm oddly infuriated. Right, maybe I should kill the robot and then it will open. There's an extra life up here or health or something. It's like you can't push two buttons at once. There we go. I don't think when you push R it's an attack. I think it's something else. Grab these. You know, I want all the goods I can get. Fill up my webs. When will developers learn that making it so Spider Man has limited use of his webs is horrifying and rubbish? Right, I bet now it will just open straight away. Or at least the first time I kick it. Oh. Christ. They, they, games used to be so difficult, didn't they? What in God's name is that unholy creature up there? Right, I gotta make it past this. My instinct is to jump on the lip and die. I feel like that's not many kill you in one. It just does like, you know, say 10% damage, but you get stun locked by it. All right, fuck me too, I guess. Ah, oh, webbing, yeah, look at that cool is that they've done a fair job like sort of animating some stuff he can do but it just controls terribly it's the sort of game that I bet oh, I bet the demo running of it looks pretty good is what it is that's that's the trick they've gone for okay and I fell in some acid if it helps I'm pretty sure I was already dead Okay, and there's a trap door. Did that kill me or am I on another level now? I think I'm on another level. Oh, and oh no, that does kill you, that little trap door that you can't see. Wow, this is an infuriatingly difficult game, isn't it? That's what I've learned. You can't. <laughs> You can't attack when you're running. I've just realised why I keep failing at everything. It's kind of an oversight. Also, one punch will kill him, but... Right, you definitely can't do that at this stage. So I have to kill this robot, I think. Come on, robot. Where are you? There we go. I'm getting way more efficient at doing that now, aren't I? It used to take me like 50 webs, then 10, and now I'm down to 7. Soon I'll be able to do it in the 3 or 4 it actually takes to kill it. But, you know, the heat death of the universe will also soon occur. What happened to the good music we started with as well? Did they, did they run out of the license for that? It's like, you can have the music, but only for your title screen. Right. So how did he web to the ceiling before? Nope. Oh, wait. I got out that time. I didn't get stun knocked. Ah, oh, fuck. Jump, you bastard. Grip the ceiling. Ah! <gasps> Well, I've learned to web swing after a fashion. Shit. Okay, get, get out of it. If it's not Master Chief, then who is it? It's actually a cool enemy design as well. Came before Master Chief, so All right, let's let's get can I can I jump can I get get down Christ. Get on up. All right, there's, oh, so that's a pillar, not a door. What is that enemy? It's horrifying. Oh, Christ. All right, could you go through the hole maybe with your web? Nope.
yeah. Such a dick move to give you limited amounts of that as well. Like, an incredibly limited. So we're thinking, well, there was more to the left. I've just got to make sure I don't fall through the hole, haven't I? Oh, I died. Shame. He was such a good Spider-Man. Right, let's go. So, got to watch out. Where's the, where's the hole? It's here. Okay, all right, well, we've got webs. Seems to jump off in whatever fashion it fancies. These Bunsen burners going off really annoy me because they're clearly just on regular tables and he could walk in front of them. But for some reason, he can't. All right. We know how to fight these. They, they can only, only attack at about... What, just over waist height? Oh, and that's death. Ah, oh, fuck. So you can't... You can web onto some surfaces, but not all. Wait, why did I get a game over? I just got a random number of continues, apparently. It is based on Spider-Man the Animated Series, which I kind of gathered by the music and the artwork. So you didn't get to see this before, but this was the best bit, was that it starts with this theme tune, and like you know you're onto a winner. And I think there's an intro video as well, which I'm hoping will play now and should be pretty good. Here it is. The Sinister Four are breaking out. I think someone's breaking out of their prison cell. Doc Ock or, or Goblin? Oh no, just all four of them, all out at once. And then it shows us... Oh yeah, the, the city's in peril. It's a hell of a skyline. Um, I'm sure that's... I don't know. I thought Ravencroft would be strong enough to hold the likes of you. Smythe, Doc Ock and Green Goblin. Guess I was wrong. Smythe, Doc Ock and Green Goblin. Who the hell is the other one then? It's unclear. Also, Spider-Man seems to be fading into the background there. You notice how n nothing they've shown so far is even close to the actual gameplay. This level plus amazing. Like, oh, right. oh, maybe I can change the difficulty. Spectacular average. And... You know what's really weird is that almost, very much almost, that's the same difficulty settings as the newest Spider-Man game, which is, I think, is neighborhood amazing and spectacular. And it also tells you you have to figure out which is better, amazing or spectacular. Let's get average. The trouble with that is, it doesn't imply difficulty as well. You might see that and think, do you want this game to be average, amazing or spectacular? Okay. So I should have really cranked that up. I like how the options are. Do you want it to be difficult or more difficult? They're the two. But I definitely changed the difficulty, so I wonder what's actually changed. Because I've still got webs. He still attacks. Maybe he attacks less? I don't know. I'm not going to keep playing anyway. It's just not a very good game. It's... It's... It's, um... It's weird, though. A lot of the production values are good, but the actual gameplay itself is cheap. So it makes me think like they took it from somewhere else. Like... Like... Or they, they were doing the work and then they just they just gave up level design wise and gameplay wise. He looks good though. It's a curious case, isn't it? Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.